The roles of parents have changed dramatically in recent years. Now, studies show that there are about 1.7 million stay-at-home dads in America. The traditional double standard is stay-at-home moms are applauded, whereas stay-at-home dads are judged. So, in 2015, are we still okay with this Juanita? Because you're a stay-at-home mom. Yes, I am a stay-at-home mom by choice. I have my education and I have my career, but I consider it an honor and a privilege to raise up my boys, and I view it as raising up the next generation. There was a time in our marriage where my husband, he lost his job, and I could have easily gone back to work, but I did not want to rob him of his manhood. I wanted him to provide for our family. And we have two little boys. I want them to grow up to see that their dad is an amazing provider and protector for our family. If I would have let him punk out and stay home, that would have caused me to lack respect <laughs> in my man. Yeah. 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 I know you won't Hung say out? Being a parent is such a hard job. You know that. You know that. And so when a guy wants to stay home, he's not punking out. He's taking on the hard responsibility of raising his children. He's not punking out. Yeah. This no, is wait, a hard This job. is the difference, though. So I'm not saying that by him being a father is a punk. I'm saying that by him choosing not to go to work is being a punk. Okay. Because uh, Joe, he has to yeah, provide yeah. Joe, for our family. I completely disagree. And, and the, whole, the whole sense of providing for your family, is it? That's something Is it so does. terrible that, you know, maybe the woman provides or puts the, the food on the table? Is it, is it a different uh, mentality that maybe providing for his family is staying home, raising yeah, the kids, right. doing their homework with them? You know, that's it means that's a called lot. parenting and participating. You, but you need to bring in that check. I mean, I would I love to be a stay-at-home dad, though. You don't even know what it that means be, to be a stay-at-home yeah, dad. I, I don't do have, have a family. Kids? But, you know, I have, you I have, have cousins kids? who are little. I, I, do you have kids? No, I don't have kids. Then you don't know what you're talking about. Well, I will say this. I, I will say this. You brought up... <laughs> you brought up I, I, you, I know. You, Nick, I'm sorry, but you right brought, here, up, you brought up earlier the effect on your children, seeing somebody, seeing their father being... Punked out, I think is what you said. I, I said punking out. Punking out. I'm sorry. I apologize. I um, but if you have children, if you have a little daughter, and she sees a mother who could go out, get a job, take will. care of herself, yes. bring yes. food home on yes. the table, yes. that is just but, but, as strong I, as a message but, but, as a woman who doesn't want to do I, those I, things. I want to take you back on that. But if that daughter okay. doesn't okay, okay, right here. see her, okay, you want her to grow up to depend on, on right a man? Here. Is that what you're saying? Right here. I mean, have no independence? Is that the right message to be sending? My ultimate independence is on God. My ultimate independence is on God. Do you have children? I don't have children. Okay, no, because you're too busy having sex. That's right. <laughs> I have kids. That way, that's clutch shaming. That's clutch shaming. That, 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 that is not okay. That is not okay. Even though I have sex. I she was brave enough you know. to come out here and I, say I that number. I respect you as a person. I respect you as a person, but I am a wife and a mother. Okay? Bonnie, okay? okay. I want to piggyback on what Nick said. So, uh, listen. I have to. Okay, hold tight. I can't hold my hand. Okay, but let me say this right here. If there is a situation where it is agreed upon by the couple that if the woman makes more money and it makes economical sense for her to go to work and the guy to stay at home, that's an agreed upon arrangement. Mm -hmm. It is a tough job to stay at home with them kids. Mm -hmm. It's tougher, actually, than going to work. That's the only way I personally can approve of it. Now, from the personal standpoint, I could never allow that to happen. I I'm not that guy. I'm not, I was not raised that way by my father. I don't like a man who does not give his all in all for his family and while his woman goes out and works. Right. My thing is, though, I work two jobs and I go to school. And I just, I have, me and my wife just had a, a baby, a month-old baby. So I take care of, like, 20% of that and work and go to school. I'm good with my 20%. I'd rather be out working and providing for my family. And I say that to say this. I feel like a man wants to give right. his wife the option. I want to be able to provide for you, but if you feel like you want to, you know, my wife's educated. She graduated from college. She, she has a, a, a good career. 
she has that option to go to work. And that, that makes me feel like a man that you don't have to do that. It's your choice. You're making and I, 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 I completely agree with that. I, I, I completely agree with that. And I think the option should go both ways, though. Because right. if your wife is going out and she has a great job and your kids are being tended to by a nanny or a maid, I don't want my kids okay, being brought up by somebody who's not... How do you feel comfortable with, not, comfortable with that? Yeah. Because I'm taking care of my kids and they're happy and I'm there watching them. I know a lot of men in my life who are very nurturing. I'm not one that I... Not, not ones that I've and gotten in bed with, but I have known some some role models, people who are in my community, who nurtures. are who are very nurturing men who base their self worth on the fact that they are good people to the people that they are around, right. and yeah. they are they show their feelings, and I feel like uh, there's a huge issue with men showing their feelings yeah, yeah, and yeah, being yeah, comfortable yeah. and yeah. things like that. No, no, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay listen. Okay, guys. Manliness. Okay, because we're gonna wrap this up. So where does the audience stand on this? 28% of the women said, yes, this gender gap is closing. 18% of the men say the same. So guess what that says? You're not really too cool with that concept. Because listen, when we get off TV and ain't nobody looking, and you come bringing that money home and you looking at your man sitting up there on the couch watching the stories. Of course, Emily. I don't know too many women that's going to be really okay with that. The stay-at-home dads I knew, they're doing homework, they're taking the kids to sporting events, they're doing the things that a job well, is as a parent. Yeah, see, and, and I agree I don't with you. I think that it's hey, very Nick, disrespectful. Nick, to I agree with heads. you, but let me explain to you. That's what women have been suffering for years. And they don't because do that Because guys think and just, that they at the house watching stories and everything, that, why ain't the house cleaned up? Yep. Well, because we got four kids, and every time <laughs> I clean something, they go mess up another area. Right. Yep. That's, that's what's wrong. Hey, folks, welcome. Uh, thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. Don't forget to click here to subscribe to my channel. That way you won't miss a single hot new video, some really good stuff. And then I want you to click here to see more clips from the show right now.